see what happens. All right, YouTube says this is good to go. Um, before I get started, can you just let me know if uh, the stream is working okay? To move slightly this way. Uh, there seems to be like some slight delay, is what it sounds like from YouTube. But uh, yeah, let me know. Uh, We'll see if uh, YouTube actually sends out these notifications, so I'll give it a couple more seconds. Uh, but yeah, super exciting stream that uh, I have planned today. Uh, so excited to have Stone Fox here as well. Sweet. Cool. Um, but yeah, we can just go ahead and dive into it. This is April 26th. A lot of really exciting news from uh, VRTK's end, our end, just the VR industry as a whole. So super excited to be diving into that today. Uh, as always, I kind of like to open up with our waffle. There's just kind of a broad view of things that you guys have requested, things that are coming down the pipe. Uh, that IBM Watson tutorial is almost good to go, so you can expect that uh, about two weeks from now. So look forward to that. Next up is, uh, this is kind of something I've kept on the DL, but uh, starting May 2nd, I am actually going to visit Abdo, our amazing 3D artist in Montreal. So I will be there from May 2nd to May 17th. Uh, Hassan will be joining May 13th through the 17th. So if you're in Canada or the Montreal area, just want to let you know we'll be there. I'll probably check out the VR scene, see what's happening. I've heard there are a bunch of cool VR arcades, uh, and it's somewhat of a college town. So I'm excited to see uh, what actually happens while, while I'm there. should be a lot of fun. So let me know in the chat if you're from there, because uh, yeah, definitely want to see you guys if you're around. Uh, next up is, uh, I think everyone's favorite news is VRTK First has been around for about two years. Uh, it kind of blows my mind a little bit that Stone Fox started VRTK around the same time, uh, slightly earlier uh, than I started doing these tutorials on this channel. So it's super, super awesome to see that uh, it's been two years. It's helped so many people get into the VR and AR space. and. It's just crazy that uh, Cheers has come by. We've progressed a lot as a community. I'm super, super stoked for what the future holds. And speaking of the future, that's the, the next point, which is uh, if you haven't checked Twitter, you definitely should. Or if you haven't checked the VRT Slack, you definitely should. Um, it's that uh, Oculus is uh, officially, officially, officially funding VRTK, uh, which is just so crazy to me uh, that I feel like this should have happened almost like a year ago, um, but here we are two years, that's fine. <laughs> Things take time. And yeah, uh, version four, which uh, from what I understand is a lot of major improvements, uh, a lot of polish um, that I think will make it, or actually no, I'm pretty sure I know will make it a lot easier. Uh, if I remember, where is that? Yeah, so you have, um, where is he? Uh, Chris Bedeker uh, joining the team. Uh, that sounds super, super exciting. Uh, it's just, it's crazy, right? Uh, <laughs> pretty much a rewrite? Yeah, okay, that, that's kind of what I figured um, or what I kind of understood. That's like, that's super, super awesome uh, to get it to a state where uh, it should just be so accessible, uh, so straightforward for people to get in. Uh, that's the tweet from the Oculus developers there. And uh, yeah, definitely, definitely check out Stone Fox's stream on Sunday, 8 p.m. I don't know what time that is Pacific. I think that's like 11, which is actually better. It used to be like 12 for me, uh, but I think thanks to Daylight Savings, uh, it is not during lunch anymore. So <laughs> I'll definitely be tuning in. Uh, and yeah, lots of crazy announcements, Q&A. Definitely go check out out and sub to VRTK if you haven't, because you definitely should. I don't know what you're doing if you're not on there. And check out the Slack. I, everything, I'm going to pump VRTK, 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 because you definitely should. Uh, lots of cool stuff are for what it looks like over a year. It sounds like funding for at least over a year. Um, Stone Fox can definitely let me know if it's longer than that, because that would be even cooler. Uh, or I guess it's until version 4 kicks off, because the, that's... Uh, that's what everyone wants, and I think uh, that'll be super, super exciting to see that come down the pipe. I think the one thing, I, before I kind of wrap this up and go to the happy birthday song, is uh, this is, even though Oculus is funding it, and of course Oculus is notorious for being kind of that closed, uh, closed, gate, closed garden type of approach, that doesn't 
it sounds like it's not affecting VRTK at all. So if you have like hate for Oculus, I don't think that applies to this. It, it, seem, it sounds like basically Oculus is giving free reigns for VRTK to do whatever is best for the community. So that includes pure open source. It includes uh, cross-platform uh, as more headsets come out. Um, I, I mean, Stone, I'm sure you can ask Stone Fox all the specifics, but uh, expect it to be VRTK, but like 10x better <laughs> or something, something to that effect. Um, all right, and yeah, um, listen to Stone Fox, who is uh, <laughs> in the chat right now. He will, he will guide you and uh, push you in the right direction. All right, happy birthday time. And this is not going to work with the chat at all. Uh, otherwise, you can just throw a bunch of happy birthdays in there. That works too. All right. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear VRTK. Happy birthday to you. All right, I can keep... This is like a two minute loop. <laughs> I just like pick something off of YouTube just to have some little background music. But uh, yeah, happy birthday, VRTK, Stone Fox, VRTK community. Super, 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 super awesome two years. <laughs> like that, that's for sure. So definitely, it, in, it definitely deserves all the, the praise and balloons and all of that good stuff. So really exciting to see where we've come and where we can go in the future. Yeah, lots of balloons. I love the balloon emojis. Keep them up, keep them up. Ah, uh, that's so awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, definitely if you have questions, ping Stonefox in the chat right now or, or on Slack or Twitter, wherever you can. I'll just keep plugging him <laughs> throughout this. Uh, uh, the other things are Magic Leap uh, is starting a kind of, uh, I mean, we don't really know what it is until they actually do it, but it's uh, they're going to be streaming on Twitch, kind of dev tips, creator tips, um, stuff of that nature. I don't, uh, again, uh, they're starting May 2nd. Uh, you can check them out on Twitter. That's, that's where I found this announcement. And uh, it should be a good resource for the community. Hopefully, maybe, I mean, who knows what they're actually going to do, but uh, maybe they'll give a little insight on this Twitch stream. So uh, May 2nd, you should go check them out. Uh, it's going to be, a, we'll see, we'll see what happens. And you can see, I think there are several people following this stream already, so we'll see what happens. And then the last thing is for the developers here, specifically um, minorities, I think, uh, or uh, really people just kind of to encourage diversity in the VR ecosystem because uh, that's kind of something that we need a little bit. Uh, Oculus is putting together a launch pad. Hassan has actually been a part of that. Um, he was like part of the inaugural batch and since then he's been helping out any way he can. So if you want to come to the Bay Area or um, just want to try to pitch an idea, uh, this is definitely a great application to, to put out and see if you get in. Um, uh, if Hassan was here, or if you can, if you leave comments on this video, uh, I'll tell Hassan to to go answer them. If you have any specifics about uh, Launchpad that you want answered, and he'll be the right resource for that. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I have here. Again, mostly VR, <laughs> mostly, mostly wanted to come onto the stream to to talk about VRTK. Uh, I'd actually had no idea that uh, this uh, investment was coming through uh, until uh, Jawa put it into the chat, and then I checked Twitter because uh, I hadn't checked Twitter the whole day, and I was like, "Whoa, definitely got to do that." I was just planning the happy birthday, but this is so so awesome, and really really remarkable. So. Props off again to, uh, to Stone Fox and make sure to check out all his social stuff. Um, <laughs> I, I really can't sing. I, I used to think I could sing and then I realized, no, no, I can't sing at all. Uh, let me go through the chat before I uh, wrap this up. So that's from there. I saw, I want to try and find uh, Stone Fox's. Uh, <laughs> I, I saw a blast of tweets. All right, Dev Puppy, you're going to be in Vancouver. Ah, it's unfortunately on the opposite side. Um, the the primary reason I'm actually going to Montreal is because Abdo is there. Um, if you can like swing by Montreal somehow, <laughs> um, because uh, my so I'm going from California to Montreal, 
I'll be there for two weeks, and then I am actually going down with my family to Phoenix. So it's unfortunately missing that Vancouver area, but I've heard uh, Vancouver is awesome. Yeah, you know what, Stone Fox, <laughs> me and Fusemont are we are brothers. Uh, it's so it's so awesome to <laughs> to be in this community together. Uh, rewrite. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's a good question. Full time should be 12 PST. No, uh, that makes sense. Yeah, I mean, it's it's over for a year. It's about six months. I mean, that's still a relatively long time, especially if you're able to to hire someone. Like that's or at least like help pay minimal bills. <laughs> that's still a pretty big deal. Um, still, I mean, I it's it's something better than nothing. And if it can get to V four, I think that's that's a huge huge deal. Lots of balloon emojis, I love it. Um, the team. Do, 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 do. And what is this guy? Let me grab this link. Have a cake. <laughs> what if the cake is a lie? That would be a problem. <laughs> oh, I want Portal 3 to come out. <laughs> That's what I really want to have happen. Uh, go to site. Hopefully it copies properly. Oh yeah, you're. I made you a mod. New JPEG format. I, I've honestly heard of so many different formats for VR. I really don't know if we need them or not. Um, why did virtual RAM make users nauseous? It's latency. It's next on that. Next on the tutorials is Watson, which I know a few, few people had uh, requested. So that should be coming. Probably like sometime in the middle of my trip to Montreal, and then I'll try. I, I need to persuade Abdo to do a tutorial of some kind, maybe 3D or uh, Lens Studio. But those are kind of the two coming down the pipe. Let me. Um, I want to be smarter. More compressing and less. Wait, who who is the group behind this? Because I know uh, there there are honestly several companies working on like compression, which I think is definitely one of the problems, especially on uh, high kind of <laughs> intense VR, because you want to pack as much in as you can. Let's see. OK, it is open source. Let's see if this makes its way into Unity. I think that's like my kind of standard. If like, is, is the industry going to take off with it? Is, does it does it manage to get itself into Unity or Unreal? If it does, then boom, <laughs> then it's set. Um, if not, I don't know. But yeah, definitely know a few people working on stuff like that. I've seen people work on formats for 360 video. So I mean, I don't know if any of them are being used per se, because I know YouTube, they, they can convert it into their own thing. A bunch of other people convert it into their own thing once you upload it. Um, the JPEG is interesting. We'll see what happens. Uh, I think adoption will <laughs> will be uh, an interesting story. Pretty much what we needed just to get to V4. That's awesome. And I, ideally, I, th I mean, Oculus has so much money. <laughs> Facebook has so much money. Ideally, what you see happen is they they see you get there and then they fund it more. Hopefully, I don't know if that'll happen. Um, but especially, I mean, for, I mean, I'm trying to think of it from their perspective, which is to get more uh, Oculus developers. So if it is, I, I don't see why they wouldn't fund it more. That would be super awesome. That would be so awesome. Uh, would make more sense. Oh, that would, yeah, video formats would definitely be interesting. Like I talked about the 360 video, but uh, foveated eye tracking in 360 videos would be pretty, or like just, light field videos, that would be super sick. Uh, I don't know if we're, <laughs> we're like probably like three or four years away from that, but still, I've, I've probably people are working on that. Um, but yeah, uh, that's pretty much, that's it for the live stream. I'll, I'll stay in the chat if there are any like other comments, questions, thoughts. Uh, but yeah, happy birthday to VRTK, super, super awesome. And happy, or congratulations on the funding. So that's, that, that does it for the stream. Thanks so much for everyone who's tuned in. Uh, this was awesome, super, super awesome. And uh, plan, these will kind of 
these types of videos will pro or streams will happen kind of periodically. So hopefully YouTube notifications actually kicks it out, or you can check Twitter. Um, yeah, and thanks again, Stone Fox, for everything you do. So that does it for this stream. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Fuse Man, and I'm signing out. All right, see ya.